All right, so boys, today our objective is that we are working on making sure that we're moving forward every time that we get the ball. We're trying to work on our transition from when we're on defense to offense. Our objective is to go forward every single time. That should be our first action whenever we're playing. So in our activity today, we have one warm-up. We have two activities that we're going to be doing. In our first warm-up, it's going to be a 1v2, and then it will progress into a 3v2. Okay? In this action, when the player gets played, when the ball gets played from the defensive player over here, our first action should be what? To go where? Up. Forward. Up, forward. We want to make sure that we go forward. And the player who receives the ball, the one who does not have the ball, should they stand there? No. No, they want to make sure that they can support this play as well when we move forward. Okay? Quick demonstration. Juan Carlos, go ahead and come up here. And then Sebastian and Ethan grab an orange bib, go down there to the two blue coats. On the drop, let's go, boys. So don't start yet, Juan Carlos, but when he plays it, as soon as he plays it, turns into a 2v1, their objective is to get it across the line. If Juan Carlos gets the ball, what should he be doing? He defends, no, I'm saying, so once he plays it, if he wins it from them, what should he do? Cross the line. He wants to go past that line because he wants to go forward as quickly as possible. Go ahead, Juan Carlos, show us. 2v1. And then we'll continue to move on from there. Boys, jogging out to one of the blue cones for me, please. Oh, you're weird. <laughs> if you are on that side, starting off as an attack, you need an orange bib. Jogging back to your cones, yep. Quickly, Mark. Making sure we're getting by him quickly. Let's go. Good. And then we're in. And we're in. And we're in. Yep. Make sure that first touch is forward and accelerate as soon as you get by him. Not bad. Job, boys. Well done down there, fellas. Two options you can do when you drive forward. 
Xavier, that touch needs to be forward. You guys are going back and forth. Stop joking around and take him. Hey, Santos, be careful. All right, three. Brian's group, switch with Xavier group. Dan's group, switch with Isaac group. Yes, Lopez. Right, there we go, Santos. Yes, Juan Carlos. Here we go. Good. Now you can drop down. You can drop down, though, if you need to help him. So if he needs help, you can get down and open your body. You don't have to necessarily stand there and just be in that position. Alan, why can't you take him in that space? Take him. Right here to the blue. No, actually, I'm sorry. No, never mind. You stay there. Sebastian, come to the blue. Yeah. 
Leave them on for now. progress it started to look better the 3v2 was a little bit rough but it's all right I, I think some success there's still things that we need to work on but we're gonna move on now it's gonna be a 5v5 okay I will be on that side the team that receives the ball they will have three defenders and a two midfielders their job is to touch the ball four times and then they can score you do not start over after the four touches once you get the four touches you get to go straight to goal the other team is the focus team where they will have two cams, which is the 8 and the 10, and then they'll have their striker, the 9, and then the 7 and 11. The objective here is when they win the ball in transition, what should they be doing? Attacking, going forward. Their first option should be forward. But let's say that the 8 or the 10 receive the ball. What should the 9, 7, 11 be doing? They're going up. They're moving up. What are they trying to do there? Push the, the you, you sound like you want to say it. Find space. They're trying to attack. Well, they're providing space going forward, but they're providing an option forward. As they move forward, they're giving the 8 and 10 space to move forward. But they're also trying to make sure that they can find those options so that we can attack quickly. The way that that team can score is they can dribble between the two blue colors there, over there, or into the middle of the goal. 
Okay? Say it. No, you just work. You just work. But you dribble in between those two. Now, I will have two group, two teams to start. Anybody who's not in yet will be doing a rondo behind me over there until I drop, call you in. So the first team in this orange is Juan Carlos, one center back over here, defending that team. Let me have Dan as the right back over here. And then Santos as the left back. The two um, CDMs on that team are Lopez and well, Cristiano. Then for the attacking team, Sebastian, you're a striker with no bib. So yeah, no bib, no bib. Mark and Isaac, wingers, no bib. And then give me Xavier as a cam with Mateo. The rest of us boys. We're on that side over there playing a rondo until I call you guys. Hey, sorry boys, hey, real quick. Pass the ball to me on this side because I'm going to start it on this side. The camera's over here, all over here, all balls over here. Just kick the ball over to me. So, Orange, how should you move right now so that you guys have space? Orange, how should you be spaced out? You always receive the ball first. with that one. Way to look for going I forward, Lopez. Mateo, like ball you. comes to me every time. To my team, please. Sebastian, Isaac, drop.
Don't just stay in that area because you're making it small. See what I mean by that? Few more boys that I'm getting subs in. Boys, Cristiano and Lopez, you guys standing there making it so far when they come press. So come up on just a tad bit higher. I mean to go to the other go forward. Right? I know I want to 
constantly going forward, but when we cannot go forward, if there's no option to, we recycle, we try to find the other side. Isaac, you hear me? All right. Play, 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 play. Oh, One more, boys, and I gotta get some switches in. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Because when they press forward, how can Brian find you? Huh? You gotta talk loud for me, man. Open, but I'm saying so. Look at And Sebastian's pressing here, Mark's pressing there, Isaac's pressing there. Are they pressing fast or slow? They're going straight forward. And all you need to do is get in between both of them, and then you break that line. Brian's found it twice so far, but my buddy Allen right here needs to handle it, right? All right, let's go. See, he finds it again. That's like the third time. But Allen is not handling it. Yes, Mark. Two lots, two lots, two lots. You have time.
Leave everything right there. Stay right here. Stay, stay, stay. All right. So, hey, focus on me now. I think the last activity was getting better. Once again, I there was a few, like I said, last time was a few good moments. There still has to be a little bit better where when, when in our transition, that option just needs to be a little bit faster when we go forward. One moment where I seen Sebastian that did, we did well was he didn't have an opportunity to go forward, so we did play back, but we were able to recycle and start it over to where we found a better option. Unfortunately, we did not score, but that is another way where we can recycle or we can keep the ball if the option going forward is not on. For our last opportunity, or our last activity today, is going to be a 5v3 rondo. But once the three players in the middle receive the ball, there will be two wingers where they need to find the wingers as fast as possible. And once they find the wingers, you're driving into the goal, you're scoring, you have 10 seconds to do it. Right now, I'm gonna have Brian and Juan Carlos go inside the box. You are the only two center backs. You do not come out and press anywhere else. Uh, let me see this real quick. Alan or Juan Carlos, grab what we have, dude. Boys, you are the only two center backs in there right now, so you don't go out and press only two center backs. And then for this one. Mark, come to this left one. No bib. Isaac, 
On the right, no bib. Knock it off. On the one down there. And then Xavier Lopez and Mateo go in the middle as the uh, three defensive players. And then in orange, let me have Cristiano on the top right there. Well, actually, no, you're central with orange on. Allen go on one side. Um, Santos Adan go on another side. Gio go on the side and Van go on the side. On the jug with orange. Any side that you guys choose, in between the yellow cone, it's a Rondo. Watch Carlos!
I can't see that for. That was the goal. Hey, on the jog, let's go, everybody. Last one. Come, come, right here. In this space right here, boys. Okay, I said, let's go. Thank you. All right, so just to recap real quick before we are done with everything. What was our objective today? Go up. To go forward, right? Especially in that transition where we were defending, and when we win the ball and we win possession, we need to go forward. <clears throat> what do you think the big reason on why we would do that? Find an Say that again? Find an opportunity. Find an opportunity. Anybody else? Score. Score. Any other ones? Better crosses. Find better crosses. Find crosses, and what were you going to say? Create more chances. Create more chances. I think those are all great answers. The one that I'm looking, the answer that I'm looking for though is look it. If the back four on the other team is playing it out, and then as soon as they pass that ball and they make a mistake, is the other team organized? No, right? They're unorganized, they're not ready to go. So if we can quickly attack at that moment, we will have a better opportunity to get options inside of the goal or chances in front of the goal. But the only thing is, let's say that my what was that? My winger, he beats the left back, and then he wins the ball and he goes in, but nobody is supporting in that attack. No one's running forward. He will have no options. It was worthless if we're all not working as a unit trying to get forward as quickly as possible. That's why I was getting on a few of us here because you guys are kind of just jogging in there, but if you're not up there at the right moment, there's no way that we're going to be able to score a goal if their teammates are not supporting in that attack quick enough. The last thing is I just want to remind you, if there are no options though, like after you look forward and you see nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong, wrong with recycling it and starting it over. Because if we get stuck on one side and there's no option, if we bring it back, what side should we go to? So let's say we start on the left side, we're in the wide area, but then our winger doesn't have, or doesn't have an option, so he plays it back. The press has brought us all the way over here. What side is open now? Switch to the other side. Why? Because the whole team is on this side. Uh, you can play either through ball or the defender can play through ball. Absolutely, man. We come to one side, we press them on one side. If we have our options open on the other side, we quickly go to the other side. It's open, and we'll have more opportunities for 1v1s or 2v1s or a numerical advantage on that other side. We'll continue to work on that, especially for this weekend. We need to make that happen. Other than that, boys, thank you. I think everything went pretty well. Let's record the scrimmage. Right on time.